What up, Bells and to downtown Raymond. You're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Orlando for Thursday, October 5th, 2023, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Raymel, that's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O, on Twitter at the Enter Report, or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. MGM is giving a glimpse of the new film The Boys in the Boat. The studio first shared first-look photos in a featurette for the sports drama Wednesday. The Boys in the Book is based on the Daniel James Brown book, which recounts how the University of Washington rowing team competed in men's aid at the 1936 Berlin Summer Olympics. The film is written by Mark L. Smith and directed by George Clooney, Callum Turner, Joel Edgerton, Jack Mulhern, Sam Strake, Peter Guinness, and Alec Newman Starr. The official synopsis reads... This inspirational true story follows a group of underdogs at the height of the Great Depression as they are thrust into the spotlight and take on elite arrivals around the world. In the feature, Clooney shares how the boys in the boat is about, quote, strong, tough kids pushing through adversity. The actor says they're rowing because it's the only way they could stay in college. The stakes were much higher for them, and it gave them an edge. The boys in the boat opens in theaters on December 25th. The film marks Clooney's first project as a director since the 2021 film The Tender Bar. Universal Pictures is giving a glimpse of the new film Night Swim. The studio shared a teaser trailer for the supernatural horror film Thursday. Night Swim is written and directed by Bryce McGuire and produced by James Wan and Jason Bloom. The movie is based on a story by McGuire and Rob Blackhurst, which was previously adapted as a 2014 short film. Wyatt Russell, Carrie Condon, Amelia Hoffrey, Gavin Warren, Nancy Lehan, and Jody Longstar. Night Swim follows Ray Waller, played by Russell, a former Major League Baseball player forced into early retirement by a degenerative illness. The character moves in with his wife, Eve, played by Condon, teenage daughter Izzy, played by Hoffrey, and young son Ellie, played by Warren into a home with a backyard pool. The official synopsis reads, Secretly hoping against the odds to return to Pro Bowl, Ray persuades Eve that the new home's swimming, uh, shimmering backyard swimming pool will be fun for the kids and provide physical therapy for him. But a dark secret in the home's past will unleash a malevolent force that will drag the family under into the depths of inescapable terror. The teaser shows Izzy and her boyfriend play a game of Marco Polo in the pool that quickly turns terrifying. Night Swim is coming soon to theaters. Three writers from the Drew Barrymore show have declined to return for its fourth season after the actress was forced to backpedal from taping new episodes before the Writers Guild of America strike ended last month, report says. Barrymore had stirred controversy amid the WGH strike when she announced the show would resume without its writers. The show briefly resumed production with the actress doubling down on her decision before reversing days later after public backlash. The three writers, Chelsea White, Christina Keenan, and Liz Coe, shared the title of co-head writer and found out that the show is beginning production because of audience ticket giveaways posted online. One of the writers was seen even picketing outside of the show's studio Manhattan. However, all three were offered deals to return and decline, according to The Hollywood Reporter. The news was confirmed by Variety. Sources who spoke to the two outlets said the show is now interviewing new writers just weeks before it's set to return on October 16th. White told The Hollywood Reporter in September, It is a bummer to hear that the show is going back because it sends a message that union writers are not valuable. When asked if she would rejoin the show after the strike, after the strike, White told the outlet maybe no comment. The news came after SAG-AFTRA, the Actors Union, released a statement in response to the return of Saturday Night Live with actor Pete Davidson, who left the show in 2022, as host. The Bronx rapper I Spice will be the musical guest. The union said SAG-AFTRA members appearing on Saturday Night Live either as hosts, guests, or cast members are working under the network code agreement, which is not a contract we are striking. They are not in violation of SAG-AFTRA striking rules, and we support them in fulfilling their contractual obligations. 
The program is a SAG after a non dramatic production under a separate agreement that is not subject to union's strike order. Former SNL star Pete Davidson will return to host a sketch comedy series when NBC kicks off its 49th season this month. Davidson will headline the October 14th edition of the show. He has been he had been scheduled to guest host an episode last May, but the show shut down because of the Writers Guild of America strike, which ultimately ended last week. Rapper I Spice will provide the musical entertainment for its upcoming SNL season premiere. The network also said that recording artist Bad Bunny will serve as double duty as host and musical guest on the October 21st episode. The guests were announced as the Screen Actors Guild remains on strike against Hollywood's film and TV studios, networks, and streaming services preventing most actors from working or promoting their projects. Vanderpump Rules star Tom Sandoval became the latest celebrity eliminated from season 10 of The Masked Singer on Wednesday night. The reality TV star was dressed as a scuba diver as he crooned Junie's Any Way You Want It and won Republic's I Ain't Worried. Nick Cannon hosted the singing competition, while Ken Jean, Jenny McCarthy Wahlberg, Nicole Schlesinger, and Robin Thicke serve as judges. Blackish alum Anthony Anderson, who was dressed as a rubber ducky, got the boot from the show last week. He was the first star ousted for the official competition this season. Selling Sunset will return for a seventh season in November. Netflix announced a premiere date November 3rd for season seven of the reality competition Thursday. Selling Sunset follows the agents of the Oppenheim Group, a luxury real estate brokerage firm in Los Angeles. Chelsea Les Canty, Amanda Smith, Brie Tessie, Emma Hernan, Chriselle Stiles, Mary Fitzgerald, Nicole Young, Brett Oppenheim, and Jason Oppenheim will return to star in the new season. Netflix shared the premiere date alongside a poster for season 7, featuring the cast and the tagline, Protect Your Reputation. The image also has a reflection of the cast doing dramatic poses. Netflix captioned the pose, Do you spy drama in that reflection? Selling Sunset originally premiered on Netflix in 2019. The series inspired the spinoff Selling Tampa and Selling the O.C. World of Wonder announced Thursday that RuPaul's Drag Race Live Untuck is coming to the streaming service WoW Presents Plus. The behind-the-scenes reality series about the Las Vegas residency premieres in early 2024. RuPaul's Drag Race Live opened in 2020 at the Flamingo in Las Vegas. Um, past drag race contestants performs five nights a week. The drag performers feature Untuck includes Bosco, Derek, uh, Derek Berry, Lawrence Chaney, uh, Pengus Heel, Latrice Royale, Coco Montras, Alexis Mateo, and Kennedy Davenport. Photos show the performers in and out of drag. The announcement promises to, quote, take you to Sin City to catch all the behind-the-scenes look from RuPaul's Drag Race Live. Bosco placed third place in season 14 of Drag Race. Britney Spears impersonator Barry was on season 8. Cheney won season 2 of Drag Race UK. Heels co-hosts Drag Race Thailand and appears on RuPaul's Drag Race UK vs. The World. Royale won Miss Congeniality in season 4 and appeared on two seasons of Drag Race All-Star as well as Drag U. Montrose came in 5th place on season 5 but was eliminated early in All-Star season 2. Mattel made it to the top three in season three, appearing at on Drag U and two seasons of All Stars. Davenport came in fourth in season seven and second in All Star season three. Blink One Eighty Two is back with new music. The rock band released a single and music video for the song "Dance with Me" on Thursday. Blink One Eighty Two previously described "Dance with Me" as a video as a video as a love letter to the Ramones. The video shows the members of Blink-182 channel the punk band with wigs and leather jackets. Dance With Me appears on Blink-182's forthcoming album, One More Time. The band will release the album on October 20th. One More Time also features the singles Edging and One More Time slash More Than You Know. Blink-182 released a music video for One More Time in September. The song reflects on the challenges that band members Travis Barker, Mark Mark Hoppus and Tom DeLong experienced prior to the reunion. One More Time will be the first 
album to feature Barker, Hopper, and DeLong since Neighborhoods, released in 2011. Link 182 announced a reunion in October 2022 and launched a New World Tour in March. Carly Pierce took to the stage on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. The 33-year-old country music singer performed her song, Country Music Made Me Do It, during Wednesday's episode of the NBC Late Night Show. Um, Country Music Made Me Do It celebrates Pierce's relationship with country music and the impact it has had on her life. She previously described the song as the essence of her next chapter. Pierce released Country Music Made Me Do It in August. Her performance in The Tonight Show comes ahead of her Country Made Me Do It tour, which kicks off which kicks off Thursday in New York City. The tour concludes November 18th in Detroit. Pierce shared behind-the-scenes photos from The Tonight Show on Instagram. She captioned the post, It was so fun to be back at Fallon tonight. What a great way to kick off the Country Music Made Me Do It tour. Country Music Made Me Do It is Pierce's second single of 2023 following We Don't Fight Anymore featuring Chris Stapleton, release in June. And as your entertainer, um, as a matter of fact, just a moment, my apologies. And finally, here are the top 10 songs on the Billboard Hot 100 single charts for the week of October 7th. Number 10, Dua Lipa with Dance Tonight. Number 9, Rema and Selena Gomez with Calm Down. Number 8, Gunna with Fuck You Mean. Number seven, Olivia Rodrigo with Vampire. Number six, Morgan Wallen with Last Night. Number five, Zach Bryan featuring Casey Mudgrace with I Remember Everything. Number four, Taylor Swift with Cruel Summer. Number three, Luke Combs with Fast Car. Number two, SZA with Snooze. And the number one song on the Billboard Hot 100 single shirts for the week of October 7th, Doja Cat with Paint the Town Red. And as you entertain a report for Thursday, October 5th, 2023, I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back on Monday to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the entertainer report with Ray Mello. That's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O on Twitter at the enter report or on Instagram at the entertainer report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the entertainer report Anytime you want on iHeartRadio, just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for the Entertainment Report and it'll take you to the page. Everyone have a great weekend. Good night and God bless you all.